beg pardon, I couldn't help but overhear you're in the market for a grown-up gift? Red flag, red flag, get out of there, kids! I'm gonna put this delicately, okay? For the kids. If a stranger asks if you're looking for a grown-up gift, He's gonna show you his penis! How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to a Classination Sass Room. Oh my god, that was harder to say than the real name. Where last we left, the characters were up to some dumb bullshit. The last few episodes have been sort of towards the edge of feeling fillery, so I'm hoping things ramp up in intensity pretty soon. Notice my intense foreshadowing? I noticed that this episode's called Reaper Time Part 1, so that's gotta be intense. You know, you just gotta assume this one's gonna be wild, right? Nobody makes a two-part baseball episode. Anyway, no more stalling, let's get into it. Huh? Professor Bitch's birthday! Yes! Yes! YELLOW BITCH EPISODE! Before I came here, I had legions of sugar daddies falling all over themselves to buy me expensive things. Now, if it doesn't come from him, I'm not interested. What the hell is wrong with me? That's called love, baby. And why haven't I been able to get a hold of Lovro? Because he's dead, baby. Beg pardon, I couldn't help but overhear you're in the market for a grown-up gift? Red flag, red flag, get out of there, kids! I'm gonna put this delicately, okay? For the kids. If a stranger asks if you're looking for a grown-up gift, he's gonna show you his penis. It's not just about romance. Their color, their shape and scent. The fact that they don't last. Flowers are an ideal metaphor for the human condition. Something... Something's up about this guy. I don't know if these flowers are poisonous or penises in disguise, but I don't like him. I'm getting a real bad feeling coming from this guy. You know, he's he's gotten way too much screen time to not be a problem. What is this? I know I'm late, but happy birthday. Oh, the setup! And they're from you? Sorry I let the actual day slip by. Oh, that's so sweet! He gave her the penis bouquet! I figured you had to be behind this. A bouquet of flowers, huh? Like the square would think of doing something like that for me of his own will. <laughs> oh, lady, you wish those were flowers. I've been so caught up in my role, I've forgotten who I really am. Oh, god damn it! did these kids just reverse Arkielovich? You kids don't really believe I'm that oblivious, do you? Huh? I'm a heartless bastard for good reason. Emotions can't be allowed to get in the way of what needs to be done. What? What is happening? Why are all my hopes being crushed right now? I am so pissed off right now! Cross! To hell with that! More like crap some up! Ooh, I gotta steal that. I'm sure that can't be the case. After all, there's still something important you need her to do. Um, what is this man doing here? I'm the assassin commonly known as the Reaper. And today, boys and girls, class is going to be fun. Hmm. <laughs> ah! Ritsu. Would you bring up the image I sent? Uh. There. Whoa! Whoa! This got so dark! And if you're not comfortable with those terms, if you'd rather not come, there's always the option of sending her to you. In tiny individual wrapped pieces. One per student. This got unbelievably dark! This was literally a home renovation show one episode ago. Also, I can't believe he drew that whole thing without even looking. As to your second point, no human being is capable of taking down the Reaper. <laughs> Conversely... This dude just threw a handful of flower petals into the air and vanished like the world's most fabulous ninja. You like to keep an eye on us, huh? Kinda kinky. Reaper peeper, alright, sure, why not? You literally carry bondage gear around with you. What about if we, like, resist or something? Would you be mad enough to kill us then? I mean, usually you don't ask, you just, like, resist. I guess there's ghosts now! Awesome, great, why not? Just another thing to have to worry about. When is this world exploding again? What is the tone of this show? Like, how do you guys recommend this show to anybody? Oh, it's just a fun, goofy slice of life. Until it isn't! Take my word for it. Uh, what just crunched? Listen, I understand I literally asked for this, but Jesus Christ, you didn't have to answer me. Everyone, stay back. Uh, Leave this guy to me. Nagisa, honestly, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, shut the fuck up. This man is a literal demon. He just teleported behind your classmate and broke all of her ribs. With these hands? Uh, Whoa! Whoa! Nagisa got Nagisud! This man is a menace! Human consciousness has a frequency, you see. 
The higher the peaks, the more sensitive one is to stimulus. Are they really explaining to me right now how a clap in the face works? It's annoying and scary. There's your explanation. Oh my god, it fucking rocked, Nagisa. Six whole months of sleep before my prince came to wake me. All this because the kids tried to set you up on a date? Something Yelovich has let them do before. I don't think this is worth killing all the children over. You there. What'll it be then? Will you come quietly or stand your ground in a losing battle? Yo, Itona's gonna fuck shit up! I surrender. Huh? If we fight, we're toast. Yo, Itona's gonna give this up! What? What the hell, man? I didn't know they took your balls away along with your tentacles. He'd take over from there. We're gonna be okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and ignore the insurmountable feat of unpacking this obviously kinky image. Because I am too damn hyped about Karasuma busting out a solo mission right now. Part 2 is about to be insane! I didn't get Itona fighting, but I better get Karasuma. All of Karasuma's fight scenes are also just like the coolest thing in anime, because he's so like unnecessarily fast and brutal. It's always just like one super quick elbow or one wicked fast knee. Ugh. Oh, I cannot wait. And you know why? Because waiting sucks. Doesn't it suck to have to wait for a new video of mine to come out when all you want to see is more Danny Mata content? Well, did you know that there are multiple videos that you can watch right now without any wait that you haven't seen before? That's right, if you subscribe to my Patreon, you get access to exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Right now, I'm reacting to Food Wars on there, so if you just can't get enough of my content and don't want to wait for the next video to come out, make sure you consider subscribing. Ooh, I'm getting better. I'm getting getting good at integrating the Patreon into the fucking video seamlessly. Subscribing to my Patreon also gets you access to my exclusive Discord server where you can interact with me and everybody else who subscribed to the Patreon. It's a ton of fun. There are a lot of games and activities there. Everyone's super cool. And it's just a great way to help support the channel in a really strong, meaningful way. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to all those who have already subscribed to the Patreon and to all of you who just support me by watching and commenting and sharing my videos genuinely with every ounce of my being and it means so much to me that you guys like watching my content. But like I said, waiting sucks so I won't make you do any more of that. How is this guy literally invisible? Behold boys and girls, my top secret weapon, the tongue! <laughs> okay, again, Ignoring the implications. This room? It's about to be flooded. <laughs> when I send the signal to the control room above, water will come gushing in at 200 PSI per second. Yelovich is gonna drown the kids because they misread Karasuma's romantic interest? This seems a little harsh. Where did this complete 180 come from, Yelovich? I realize my method seems a bit harsh. Would you prefer it if I let the best chance of saving the world slip through our fingers? Well, when you put it like that, I guess technically I'm on this guy's side then. Listen, I don't lose sight of the mission, okay? If it's the world or the kids, you gotta pick the world. Save the kids or save the world. Save the world! How is that even a question? I literally just explained this. Okay, new tactic. Think of it this way. There's no kids without the world. Here's the government's official stance. Mm -hmm. Oh, the government said, fuck you, bitch! Let me introduce you to the Bill of Fights! That was so cool. Saving the world isn't worth the lives of 27 children. Every child on Earth will die if you don't save the world. A true professional gives a damn about the bigger picture. Unlike you! Rebel in his bag of tricks. <laughs> Mind your aim, Irina! Her aim was fantastic, he just dodged it. Are you okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, you know, stuck in a cage, probably gonna drown, same ol' same ol'. All my life I waded through a cold sea of blood. Cool image, but it looks like it belongs on the back of a pothead sweatshirt. I'm impressed by the design for these new outfits, though. They're so lightweight. Good thing the security camera has a blind spot. He couldn't see us making the camouflage. I'm not even gonna comment on this. What do you want me to say? None of it makes sense. It makes so little sense that it's not even worth explaining why it doesn't make sense. But if I fly off the handle about it, then this show wins. This is my fourth episode of the day, I'm losing my voice, I'm just gonna keep calm, remain cool, and- HO BOY! 
He's so beautiful! <laughs> Dude's been hitting them curl rasumas, am I right? Hey, collarbones, why don't you walk it over here? I don't say this often, nor lightly, but yowza! Look at him, the dude's ribs have abs! And it feels like heaven has a six-pack. <coughs> oh, help me. <sighs> Did you have to try and kill me, too? Sorry, couldn't be helped. My hands were tied. Can't make an omelet and all that. Okay, well, it's pretty easy to learn how to make an omelet. Not really a good excuse to try and kill somebody, guy. <gasps> oh, here comes a suplex! <laughs> oh my god. Pissed me down. Oh my god! Faces are a handicap in this business. That is simply not true. There is no profession on Earth nor Jupiter in which having a face is a hindrance. Let me show you. Oh no, the tiniest bullet! Until... Oh no, the largest wound! This is... Oh my god, he just cracked his nuts! Dude, what did I tell you? Every hit from Karasuma is like bone shattering. I think it's about time for you to quit the killing game. But hey, with all those skills, they'll love you at the unemployment office. Um, no they won't. He looks like a ghoul. No one's gonna love this guy anywhere. Also, real quick, just thought of this. Send him to prison. Do not just send him to the unemployment line. You little punk bastards are one rung below animals anyway. The boy's pent up, the girl's all insanely jealous. Now's your chance to send all those emotions off like sexual fireworks! What? What does she think they're gonna do to her? Okay, just to be clear, you do realize I was going to kill you all. I don't see the problem. Okay, well, funny you say that, because I do! The Reaper tried to kill the kids, and Karasuma stuffed his nuts so far up his scrotum they came out of his throat. What makes Yelovich any different? <laughs> For you, and before you ask, nobody put me up to this. Consider it taken from a vanquished enemy in your honor. Never mind, take her back! Uh, why does he look like a sexy vampire? And it's not even a proper bouquet. Unfriggin' believable. I should give the man a piece of my mind. What you should do is give him a piece of your ass before I give him a piece of mine. Woo, and that was the very exhausting episodes 7 and 8, I think, of Assassination Classroom. I loved it. A super hype couple of episodes, which unfortunately means I'm probably gonna get like a wiffle ball episode next. I do love how all over the place this show is. Because you don't know what you're gonna get, you know? Like, the comedy's good, I really dig the comedy, and then I like that the drama is also reasonably good. Usually with comedy shows, like, when they start trying to get serious, you're like, ugh, with, with this again. Because I kinda half-ass it, but like, no, the action's solid, drama's good. I'm liking all the characters that were introduced properly in season one. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and what you wanna see next. Consider subscribing to my Patreon so I can afford the inevitable vocal cord surgery I'm gonna need. Oh, and uh, so you can keep getting content like this. And I will see you guys next time but now i always seem to freeze the things i love